We envision combat in D&D and similar games as a cinematic moment between hero and villain. Negotiations have broken down, tensions have risen, and this is the moment where good or evil will prove themselves the victor through battle. However, the reality is often very different. The flow of the game stops. Spontaneous decision ends at the moment where spontaneous decisions should be at its highest. And many people take this as the perfect opportunity to scroll social media in between turns. Hi, this is Nerd Kingdom, and this is how you can fix combat in your tabletop RPG games. So let's start with a disclaimer. I've seen almost every video on this topic that the internet has to offer as it's been something I've noticed in my own games, and none of them really offered much help apart from the typical generic statements like roll both attack and damage dice as one, and use a timer to speed players up, and trying to implement these just kind of felt like I was rushing players and didn't actually make combat feel any more interesting than it already was. So if you want to speed up combat, the first thing I would do is remove the initiative roll. When the game stops so that everyone can roll initiative, you're telling players that the time for spontaneous action is over. I'm much rather having a group initiative where all the players will take their turn, followed by all the monsters, or having an alternating initiative where one player will take their turn, followed by one monster, then another player, followed by a monster, followed by a third player, followed by a monster. This allows you to jump straight into combat. Who has the advantage? Do the players or the monsters? Whoever does gets to take the first turn, and then it's going to be alternating back and forth from that point. This allows you to jump in and out of combat seamlessly, and it speeds everything up right from the get-go. The second rule is known as the what are you doing rule, and I don't recommend incorporating this into your games unless you have a real problem with people taking far too long to take their turn. What this involves is at the start of a player's turn, you just ask them, what are you doing? And they have five seconds, like put up five fingers and start putting a finger down each second. They have five seconds to tell you what they want to do on their turn. And if they can't do that in the five seconds, then they take the dodge action. This stops spellcasters from spending 10 minutes looking through their spell list, trying to find the most optimum play. They have to tell you what spell they're casting within five seconds. It forces the players to be really present at the game. No more searching through social media, no more zoning out at the table. They have to focus, otherwise when it comes to their turn and they have the what are you doing rule thrown upon them, they're going to be missing their turn. The next rule is far nicer than the what are you doing rule because it encourages players to be present at the table instead of forcing them to. It's using inspiration to grant another action at the end of a creature's turn, almost like a legendary actions for monsters. So inspiration granting another action will allow players to possibly get an additional attack off to help an ally to do something really cool at the table. And again, this can be awarded at any point. Um, you could even award it just before a player could turn around to you and say, hey, I would love a point of inspiration because my character wants to race forward, protect his allies, and slash through the dragon that's about to bite this player's head off. And you could be like, well, yeah, that's a valid thing. You're motivated in this moment. Absolutely, I'm going to give you a point of inspiration to do that. And what this allows players to do is just by focusing on the game, by being present at the table, they get to do more things. Of course, this rule isn't actually going to be speeding combat up. You're actually giving players more actions in a combat. However, it's going to make combat a lot more cinematic. And that is going to make the game more interesting. And I think that is one of the big problems that people have with D&D combat as well, is that you act in your turn, and then in between your turn and your next turn, you do nothing but get hit. So this removes that problem from the game and allows combat to be more interesting to keep players' attention on that battle. The next way I have got to improve combat in D&D is to reflavor things that are going to ruin combat for players. So reflavoring the stunned condition is probably the biggest one of those. When chatting to another DM, uh, I found out that they don't have the stunned condition essentially act as a skip a turn mechanic for their players. They allow their players to move and use bonus actions when they are stunned. They just don't allow that player to use actions. 
this is going to make combat again more interesting because you have players that are still active at the table and nobody is switched off unless their character has unfortunately died as part of that combat. The final thing that I have found can speed combat up and make it a bit more interesting is to remove the attack row. Now this is a drastic way of speeding combat up but by removing that d20 attack row and having the maximum number on the damage dice act as a critical and a one act as a miss you find the criticals and misses happen a lot more often you find the combat is sped up because you are taking out a whole role in the game I recommend adding in a reaction the players can use to block incoming damage to by an amount equal to their armor class but this will massively speed up your games at the table but it is again changing one of the core mechanics of the game something like this can be found uh, in the product nimble i recommend taking a look at this product if any of these sound interesting to you because quite a few of these tips have been taken from that product well, that comes to the end of the video. Just a few tips here that I think will be useful to most people. Um, if there are any that I've missed that you think will also help to speed up combat and make combat more cinematic, then please leave those comments in the comment section below where uh, everyone will benefit from them. So thank you.